Uh, let's see what else. Ah, you know what? I talk about rates. So my prediction, my unprofessional opinion, is rates are starting to go down. Uh, demand for trucks starting to go down. We made it over here to the pipe place. They're loading trucks over there. Uh, I had people ask the last time I was here. Oh, if you look in the mirror, let me see if you can get it there. See the look in the mirror right there. You see the the little thing for the put the uh, smoke tarp on. Hang on. Indianapolis. Yeah, it's been a while. Okay. Okay, they're quick over here. They came and got us. So, but I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But that little thing there where I had to put the smoke tarp on. Somebody had asked whether or not I had my own harness or if I used their harness. Uh, I use their harness. They have a harness up in there, two of them. Uh, I do have my little smoke tarp, what left of it. So hopefully that'll be good enough. We'll find out. But uh, let's get this loaded. All right, we'll see how the audio is on this, but we're going to put our smoke tarp on. We got all loaded up. It wasn't too bad. We're at a uh, rest area on I-39. That's south. A pretty big rest area. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll walk around, take a look. So these are the new tires. I got new to new steer tires. General 16 ply 11R 22.5. 
rated for what's it 60 66 30 I think so these are drive tires we still got a little bit of life left in the drive tires so but we did get a three axle alignment so everything should be good oh there's our smoke tarp so <laughs> The last time I used this smoke tarp, the wind was blowing probably 30, 40 miles an hour, driving into a headwind. And uh, it just kind of totally ate up my tarp. But uh, I did something a little different this time. I put this strap right here to kind of hold it. And it looks like it's riding a little better. So once again, smoke tarp is to keep the soot out of the pipe. But this is sewer pipe. I can't understand why, but they need a smoke tarp on there. But that's what they said. So that's what we got. Now let me step back a little bit. So I got two straps pulling that way and one strap pulling this way. Got about 20,000 pounds on the trailer. On our Dorsey trailer. So that's what it looks like there. They did pretty good loading. All right, we're in Crawfordsville, Indiana. Uh, I used to stop here a lot when I was hauling steel. There, Bailey. We're uh, we're gonna take a little break. It's going on five o'clock. We got about oh, 60 miles before we get to Indianapolis, and the traffic around Indianapolis is crazy. So I was looking at the uh, traffic guide there. So anyway, we're going to hang out for a little bit and then make our way through Indianapolis. All right, we're done for today. We are actually on the east side of Indianapolis on I-70 at the rest area. Where we have to deliver is on this side of Indianapolis. So in Instead of staying over on the west side and then drive through town in the morning, I came across. And we're actually on the east side. I mean, on the west side. That's the east side over there. So what we did is we drove past here, went down to the next exit, turned around and came back and stayed at this rest area here. So we'll be going west in the morning. I know that's kind of the roundabout way to do it, but... This is a good area to park. I got grass for Bailey. It's a big rest area. So, um, my smoke tarp is still on there, but it's in pretty rough shape. The, uh, thought about taking it off, but the last what stuff I took went to a job site and they really don't care, but this is going to a, a business tomorrow. So, they might say something if I pull in without the smoke tarp on there. Uh, see what else? Ah, you know what? I'll talk about rates. So my prediction, my unprofessional opinion, is rates are starting to go down. Uh, demand for trucks starting to go down. Uh, I had an example today. Uh, there was a load going to Las Cruces, New Mexico. Sorry, it was forty nine hundred dollars. It paid $4,900 to go out there, which ain't that bad. And the agent called me back and said, oh, that's too much. They want to lower the rate. <laughs> they wanted to take $1,000 off the load. And I told him no, but uh, I wouldn't do it. But anyway, that's an example of rates are starting to go down now. You know, it used to be, man, for the last year or so, the trucks the truck driver had the advantage um as demand starts to slip uh the shippers are going to have the advantage and they're going to dictate what the rates are um you know so we'll see what happens but fuel keeps going up rates coming down i think probably make it through this this summer but i think after the end of the summer i think it's going to get ugly so we'll see somebody uh, else made it a, a, a point uh made a comment about uh one of the groups i belong to and 
I think it was 2008 when everything slowed down and fuel went through the roof. And he said the difference now, the 2008, is that everything is more expensive. Trucks, equipment, everything. And um, that uh, uh, the parts to fix trucks is also, there's a, a demand for parts. And trucks are sitting, you know, at shops for weeks at a time waiting for parts. So, luckily... This old truck, eh, you got to tinker with it all the time. But for the most part, I can find parts for this truck here. But, uh, you know, a new Volvo and the newer trucks are having a hard time to... Uh, I say Volvo because there's one sitting right there. Are having a hard time finding parts. All right, that's it. Short one today. All right, uh, tomorrow we're going to go deliver this. And then we're going to go pick up a load tomorrow going over into Missouri um, and that'll put us in Missouri on Friday and we'll see if we can find a Friday load a weekend load out of Missouri that pays pretty good so that's the plan alright thanks for watching talk to you later